I'm Desiree. I'm the oldest, so I guess I started taking piano lessons first. My mom was trained as an opera singer, and so sometimes at home she would play the piano while she sang as she was practicing. And I guess I would reach up to the keys and try to play. And she decided to get me piano lessons, and I guess it looked like fun because everybody else started when they turned three. I'm Deandra. Desiree and I are only just a little over a year apart. We were born in Houston and we grew up here in Utah, so uh, the home is in Alpine right now. I'm Gregory. It must have been my very first memory, um, and I must have been two years old because I hadn't yet started playing the piano. And I remember thinking, uh, my birthday was coming up soon and I'm going to be turning three years old, and then I can start taking piano lessons, and I remember being really excited about that. So it was a fun thing when we were kids, especially. I'm Melody. It's been really cool. Now we have two CDs out, and this is, we just um, have been promoting our second CD, No Boundaries, which has been a lot of fun, and that's kind of why we're here doing the concerts. I started, I don't really re remember it. I'm like, is it possible for a kid to start at that age? But I know, I guess with the little help of our, of our parents it, you know, and a, a really great teacher at the time that we started, it really helped things, uh, things out. So from twinkle, twinkle, little star to this, huh? <laughs> I guess you can say I guess that. So. <laughs> Deandra and I went to Juilliard together. She's a year younger than me. But we were kind of scared to go off to the big city alone, so she graduated a year early from high school. We auditioned at like six different schools, but Juilliard was our first choice, and we headed off to New York, and I remember only a couple of months into it, we called everybody back home in Utah, and we're like, you guys got to come out here. This is amazing training. We loved being a part of such a great environment where there's so much going on all the time, and it was also really great to have the support of each other. Uh, so many kids leave home and they feel so alone, but we, we had that built-in support system. And then after our first year, we kept calling all these guys and they finally ended up out back there. So it was fun to have the whole family there. Melody and I did the exact same thing. Uh, Melody graduated a little bit early. Um, she was, I think, 16 when she started college at Juilliard. And um, so we started out off together. We actually just um, graduated with our masters like last week. We're pretty excited about it. How do five Utahns fit in at Juilliard? Um, I, you know, I, it's funny that you say that because I, I mean Juilliard is it. There are so many different kinds of people. It, it runs the gamut. Uh, you know, so a couple of Utah kids there is not that big a deal because you've got, you know, a bunch of kids from China, a bunch of kids from Russia, and then some kids from Utah, and then you know Chicago. Yeah, it, there's every, everything goes there at Juilliard. But people did think it was kind of crazy at first, like a whole family of pianists at the school. But <laughs> you know, they're like, how can you hang out with your family? Like, how can you go to school with them? We're like, it's actually so much fun. And then you had other people like, oh, I wish my family was here, you know, that I could go to school with my sisters or my brothers or whatever. So it's, you get, we had a great time. It wasn't anything that we planned, all this that has happened with us. Um, my mom jokes that she would have made like all of us play different instruments if this had been planned, so we could have been like a chamber group or something. But five pianos, I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. Somehow things just fell into place. We've gotten really lucky and been really blessed to have, you know, opportunities come our way. And this just kind of happened. <laughs> started out with one piano, my parents. It was the first thing that they bought after they got married. And as more of us came along and more of us turned that three years old, then we eventually had to, you know, get more and more and more until we had five Steinway Grands. And we also are what you call Steinway artists, where they hook us up with great Steinway pianos wherever we go. They loaned us five pianos to put in our basement so we could practice all at once together. So we actually have ten pianos in the house right now, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all growing up, like, they were dispersed in different rooms, and we didn't have a lot of room. So, you know, they were in the garage, and, you know, in, like, everybody's bedroom, so they're everywhere. Greg and I, did, uh, growing up, did a lot of sports, and we were, we did, like, we play base, baseball, basketball, you know, you name it, it's, it, we have a lot of fun doing those. Yes, we do do normal things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what 
of our main goals since we started, you know, making albums and doing, you know, TV shows and stuff, was to really get a younger generation involved in classical music. There's so many kids out there taking piano lessons in the school choir or the band, yet they don't really relate to the performers in classical music. Keep continuing in your music lessons because you never know, you might just end up on stage just like this. <laughs> We actually just got involved with VH1 Saves the Music and it's so great because their program um, aligns so much with our vision of trying to get youth involved in this music and trying to get music into the public school system so it's been really great to be working with them. Like for instance in Idaho we played for a, a group of 4,000 college age and like families and it was just we walked down on stage and it was like they were screaming we're like we we're the latest band we we're like wow this is crazy and, you know or Germany where all these kids are like flocking up like after the concert one our autographs we're like whoa what's happening you know so there's some been some pretty cool experiences along the way it's kind of strange because there's been so many unusual events uh, way beyond coincidence that, that a power much greater than record labels or managers or any of that that is is pushing our family down a path that we don't exactly understand or know where it leads traveled all over the states. I think we've been to almost every state. And um, we are having a European tour this fall. We were there last year to promote our first album. And we're really excited to actually spend some time there and play a lot of concerts. And we're, uh, we've been to Tokyo, but we are also returning there for a Japanese tour. And they're planning a tour in China. We're so excited. Um, Gregory's uh, <laughs> trying to learn Chinese. He was taking Mandarin at BYU last summer. And so we'll see how that works out.